Let's call it the plumbing of the financial system, how cash and risk flow through the financial system. It came very close to breaking badly during the financial crisis, and right now the main concern is whether it will break under pressure again. Banks very much depend on uh, their creditors continuing to provide credit on a daily basis. Now, um, of course, regulators have been looking into that problem and um, have been pushing banks to hold much more capital and more liquidity so that they can survive short-term interruptions in creditor financing. But there are still some fragilities in that system. I would start with what's known as the tri-party repo system. There are three types of players involved. On the one hand, there's the creditors. A typical creditor would be a large money market fund. And then there's the borrowers. A typical borrower would be a large securities dealer, um, typically these days a bank, such as Lehman was at the time. And then in the middle is a clearing bank, special purpose financial institution, whose job it is operationally to handle these overnight loans from the lenders to the borrowers. And normally that works um, very well on a daily basis. Each of the major dealers borrows in excess of $100 billion a day in that market without problems. Every day there's a new loan that's taken out late in the afternoon, our new series of loans by each bank uh, to finance its inventory of securities and that matures the next uh, midday. And then there's an interim period of two or three hours depending on how well they re-engineer the system um, during which the clearing bank provides credit uh, to, the, to the securities dealers. And it's that transition during that, that midday period that's operationally tricky and um, is a system uh, fragility. If, if a bank were to run into trouble during that period, well, uh, you know, creditors are not going to offer it loans for the next day, and that would leave the clearing bank holding the bag. Uh, exposed to the credit of the, of the securities dealer, uh, the borrowing bank. Now normally that would be fine because the clearing bank has collateral. The same securities that are used to finance the loans overnight are used during this interim period as well. But, you know, there's a tail risk there and you wouldn't want to take any risks that the clearing bank could get into difficulties or find its balance sheet imbalanced by that, by that huge amount of new securities that it has to finance on its own. In the long run, I think it would be prudent to take these large tri-party repo clearing organizations out of an already very complex large financial institution and put them in a standalone utility. It can be more easily supervised and it doesn't, um, the fact that it exists inside a large bank is a reason to save that bank from failure that causes moral hazard. If the tri-party clearing organization were outside of the bank and the bank were to take unnecessary or unlucky gambles and run into difficulties, the government would not feel pressed to save it merely because uh, it was running one of these tri-party repo clearing organizations. It could let it stand or fall on its own merits. Right now, that's not the case. <laughs>